In this video, we're going to create a macro to loop through a list of profiles. And we're going to set it up so that one button, each time we pushes it, will cycle through the list. And here I have four profiles set up. I got my main profile, and then I got three duplicates. And the only difference between these is I'm changing the light bar color. And that's just so we have a visual, visual indication of which profile we're in. So to start this off, I'm going to go into the main profile macros and create a new macro and I'm gonna set this to touchpad click now if you're using touchpad for macros it's usually a good idea to make sure that you disable the touchpad mouse feature so we go in here and what we're gonna do is go to the functions switch profile and then we're gonna load up the first profile in our list there which is the parentheses one and then we're going to add a wait for release and wait for retrigger and then we're going to load up the next profile two wait for release wait for retrigger three and then loop it back to beginning we're going to load itself so what that means is that each time I push this it's going to load up that profile, it's going to wait for me to release the button, and it's going to wait for me to push it again. And what that will do is, even though we're in a different profile now, this macro, since it's stopped in the middle, will still be in the memory, meaning that even though we're on the macro trigger without the parenthesis number, this, will still, this macro will still be active and we can continue to loop through it until we end up back where we started. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to save that profile, turn our controller on here. Now, each time I push this, you see we're loading through different profiles. And that way we can, you know, set it up so that we have as many different um, like maybe button sensitivity or stick sensitivities as we want. 